Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. To view this video please enable JavaScript and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video. Strictly Come Dancing fans are vowing to boycott the beloved BBC program as a politician is rumored to join the lineup. Following the general election and the Conservatives' blistering loss, it's no surprise politicians are turning towards reality TV, as former Strictly star and newsreader Krishnan Gurumurthy warned. And while she was ahead of Matt Hancock and Nigel Farage in the jungle, it's now been rumored that Nadine Dorries could be in line for the ballroom. The 67-year-old former culture secretary, who found herself in hot water for not declaring her I'm a celebrity fees after her 2012 ITV stint, is tipped for Strictly. According to Lad Brokes, the politician stands at odds of 5 to 1 to be announced as a Strictly star, with spokeswoman Jessica O'Reilly saying, Nadine's certainly not afraid of reality TV shows and we reckon she could soon be swapping politics for the Paso Doble. Want to be the first to get all the latest news and rumors from the Strictly dance floor? Join our Strictly Come Dancing WhatsApp channel to keep up to date with all the behind-the-scenes gossip about your favorite pros, judges, and celebrities. Simply click on this link, select Join Chat, and you're in. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you can see when we've just dropped the latest spoilers. Keep dancing. However, viewers have hit out at thought of watching Dory's on the dance floor, with Frady writing on X, If Nadine Dory's appears on Strictly, I will never watch it again. Nadine Doors on hashtag Strictly? No absolutely no there should be a ban on ex or current MPs on celeb shows, especially Tories, they've fleeced us enough, at Dog's Abode also fumed. Reporting on the rumors on Wednesday's Good Morning Britain, Scarlett Douglas said, she is best known for her controversies in the chamber, but can she drop it on the dance floor, that is the question? Scarlett went on to explain that Nadine, who lasted just 12 days in the jungle, has previously said she'd love to do Strictly. And you know what? A place in the Sun presenter Scarlett added. I'm going to be honest, so would I. If Nadine Dorries appears on Strictly, I will never watch it again. Nadine Dorries on hashtag Strictly? No absolutely no. There should be a ban on ex or current MPs on celeb shows, especially Tories, they've fleeced us enough hashtag GMB. Former Strictly star Ed meanwhile warned, watch for Penny Mordaunt. Watch for Robert Buckland. Michael Gove, you heard it here first, he murmured. Dorries isn't the only politician whose name has been thrown into the mix for Strictly. After a stunt-packed campaign involving bungee jumping and paddleboarding, Richard Osmond reckons Sir Ed Davey could be eyed up by Strictly bosses. Speaking on his The Rest is Entertainment podcast with Marina Hyde, the House of Games host said, the breakout star of the election, someone who could be on any television show he wants to, and can have any career he wants to from here on in, is Ed Davey. Despite thinking there wouldn't be any politicians on the upcoming series of the BBC show, he went on, a large proportion of the British public, all at the same time, have gone, oh, I quite like that Ed Davey guy. Whatever has happened in politics, people tend to forget and don't care about, but if they have been exposed to somebody, like the cut of their jib, then that person can essentially write a check for the rest of their life. He added, as and when Ed decides to hang up his political spurs, the first name on Strictly's list, if he ever gave up, that's what you need, someone that the public connects with. To view this video please enable JavaScript, and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video. And he's not the only one to think so, with that Jace Monkey writing on X after the election, now that the election is over I reckon Ed Davey is a shoe-in for Strictly. Ed Davey really has gone full partridge during all of this and it's brilliant. Won't amount to a single thing other than maybe a strictly stint but he's definitely loved every second, at Days is added. At Thurston underscore FW said, Ed Davey is campaigning hard for his slot on Strictly. This comes after Strictly Come Dancing star Krishnan Gurumurthy, who led election Kovrag.